was their user interface problems. It was just like really buggy. Like basically they just they released a really buggy game. And people are gonna dock you a lot of points if your game feels buggy. See the legend in action. Come on, let's go bust a few heads, eh? Gaul is my least played? Yeah, maybe. It might be Gaul. I mean, that one <laughs> requires two heroes. And even when I play it, I'm usually Chosh. So, you might be right there. Five, four, three, Who the heck is two, Fandy? I don't one. know who that is. Let the battle begin. Yeah, I actually was thinking about playing Morbius this game, but uh, I didn't switch in time. Actually, I would rather be Morbius. That would probably be more fun this game. They have so many melees, I could sleep them all. I kind of wish I was Morbius. Sag. You rarely see me on D.Va. Yeah, I don't play D.Va often. I don't play D.Va or Probius often, but those are donor requests, so... At certain points in time, I do play them. They do have people that very occasionally will dono for them. Someone explain Avatar's level 16 talent, Volatile Mutation. What, what do you need explaining? I feel like the text is pretty self-explanatory. Every every 3 or 4 seconds, it, it does like a Burning Rage thing where it damages everyone around it. And that works for Monstrosity or Ultimate Evolution. Yeah, it works with either of your R's, yep. You should be able to see it graphically as well. Q and R? No, it's just it's a passive. It just happens automatically. It has nothing to do with your Q. Choose a talent. Watch this. Oh yeah, it also heals your R, whatever your R is on, whenever you do, it does damage. True. Damage. Choose a talent. Heal. Gather tribute and earn my favor. My reverb? Reverb is just good. Just generally good. 50% attack speed slow is huge. But you could take out any of these, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter, but I mean, they're all good in different ways. What up, three dubs? I'm out here trying to get some stacks though. I'm over laning against Hogger, dude. No more laning against Hogger. Stacker only. Hogger came to me this time. Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? Time to advance in the other direction. I will return stronger. 
Not that many auto attack heroes in this game. Yeah, there's not. Stukov and Genji have reasonable auto attack damage. Hogger has like reasonable auto attack damage too. This guy's actually going auto attack build potentially too with the ink. So it's good enough. But the other talents would be good too. Sonya's auto attack damage is like okay too. It's not amazing, but if you're mitigating Sonya's AA plus four other people's AA, it adds up. These fights are like a shitstorm. I don't know what's happening. No! We can't do any damage. Disaster. Any clips of today's stream's best moments? Well, we do have some, but... You probably have to look in the clips section of the channel. I don't know if anyone has saved all of them. We did have some though. Look at Boston. They were in fact Boston. I grow tired of your petty squabbling. Gather truth. Earn my favor. That guy is people angry. Murder and DPS. I am kind of DPS, and you're not wrong. Not much, though. Could be better. The curse falls upon you, heroes. You survive. <laughs> Match is becoming a pub battle. Oh yeah, definitely. At least a little bit. Could be worse though. Could always be worse. Oh wait, he put me right next to the blaze so I could kill him. That was actually worked out really well for me. We take those. Thank you. Somebody make my fort work. Why isn't it working? I need to for it online now. Let the curse end. Holy shit, geometry god. Ah, uh, yes. Start boss with no one on enemy team dead or in vision. There's no way this could go wrong. Well, we should be able to kill it because they were doing double camp. Sometimes lucky, boys. Barely lucky. Two seconds slower, and we were done, though. Came over instantly and went two seconds slower there. I don't even think you can charge in here, by the way. Like, the charge is really weird when it's in corridors. Aw, uh, I was kind of hoping he would try. I wanted to see what would happen. Oh, 
sidestep. Gather two can sidestep that that game no. Oh, yeah, I missed everything. All good, not even close. Okay, kind of close, kind of close. No, no, not even close. Right Clippers for extreme close. I mean, if we got anyone with scissors, I'm always down for more clippers, of course. Always down for more clippers. Does reverb lower the minion attack speed? Ah. Uh... Yeah. No. No, it doesn't. It only slows. It doesn't lower the uh, attack speed. One haymaker, five kills. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. I'm still waiting for that day too. That that would be a pretty beautiful day, though. And now I will show you a monster. Boom! That was rather violent. Behold the Mjolnir. Does Meriden use the Mjolnir? I mean, sure it looks like it. What even is this thing, dude? Isn't that Thor's hammer? I mean, it's definitely a lightning hammer. I don't know the lore, though. That's not Mjolnir? What the? Well, we, we using some, like, Made in China ripoff? What, what is this? It looks the same. It's literally a lightning hammer, man. This is a little dicey. Time to leave. Thanks for the clip, you too. Let me uh, save that one for later. It looks like a hammer. It does. It does look like a hammer. With lightning. Walmart meal there. The choice is simple. Enemy team thought throwing the game would make it more interesting. Oh, we're on Murden. This is a pretty good hero. I'm not too worried about losing the game on this hero. Pretty good hero. Ah, oh, plus 10 stacks. Right. Bowling! A little three man bowling ball. Oh, he buffered the stun with the bunker. Not bad. Plus 10 stacks again. Spinny boy versus spinny boy. Bowling! Getting some good three-man bowling balls just for the damage. I'm catching up to Lee Ming's damage, dude. Couple more three-man bowling balls, and we go, we go and pass them. Oh, 
Anger Healer. I grow tired of your petty squabbling. Gather tribute. Earn my favor. Dead. Oh, thank you. Oh, me. Worked out. Okay, I shouldn't have wasted my jump there. <laughs> Wasting the jump was tough. The base the uh, and one homie got me though. Gotcha. Bowling. Hey, come back. I need to pad my damage. Choose a talent. Come back. Where are you going? Bowling just for damage. Haymaker plus E plus Thunder Strike. Yeah, that's a viable build. It's like all damage, all single target pick. If you really just want to play around picking single targets off, it's okay. But I mean, it's not reliable. If you if the enemy team plays well and you cannot get any picks, you're gonna be way weaker in a team fight. Can you use Haymaker for Wave Claire? Um, well, I guess you could try. Oh, no, let me try it. Dude, they're not lining up. I'm pissed. Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? I wonder if I can knock someone into a boss stun, that would be pretty dope. Oh my god, that was so much damage. Fudge! That was about me. I could have jumped like a half second sooner. Your enemies know my wrath. This force must be Healing static. Healing static is good as well. I mean, only with a uh, double double clap though. It's not that good without double clap. And the avatar. If you go healing static, you need like the full package of synergies to make it good. Harden shield. Also good, but it's like full defense. I mean if you really need that kind of much defense you can, but you know, usually you want to rewind for the perma stun. Nice. Keep eliminated. Oh, you gonna get bold tonight, son. You gonna get bold tonight. Bowling! Bowling number one. Bowling! Bowling number two. Bowling! Bowling number three. Bro, how's no one gonna kill him? Okay, good. I almost didn't get my reset. I would've been pissed. We want to do a court? Nah, no one wants the court. Let's, let's just hit more buildings. Court's over there, dude. Frick! I missed. Oh, now it's too late to court. <laughs> you can't court now. <laughs> ah, it's far too late, brothers. I got minus 75 armor on me. Holy cringe.
Are both trait talents useless? No, they're both good. Third, third, third wind and stone form are both really good. Is there a guide on which hero solos camps? Well, every hero should be able to solo the giant camp because he can just sidestep to dodge, stutter step to dodge the giants. I mean, any hero can solo the giant camp. Night camp. I don't know if there's a guide, but it's just saying. A lot of heroes can solo the night camp. Most solo laners can. Most solo laners are decent at doing night camp. And then there's also a couple other ones like Graymane that are particularly excited. at it. Plus 10 stacks. Bulling! Bulling number one. Bulling! Bulling number two. Bulling number three. <laughs> oh, three was just enough. Good enough. Just good enough. Feel it in, yeah. Mephisto, Mephisto does not good at doing camps, no. Not the night camp. I grow tired of your petty squabbling. Gather treat. The Zebo with ultimate can do it? Yeah, I mean the Zebo even with zombie wall should be able to do it if you just use your zombie wall to tank. Most of the time though, it's not good to solo a camp. Most of the time, like any three, two to three heroes can do the camp, so usually you want your team to help if you're doing knights. The optimal play is if your team just helps you a little bit. One or two people help you. Zagara can do it really easily. Yeah, anything that summons a lot of stuff can do it because the summons tank. True. Was there any question? Not wrong. You're not wrong. 79k damage. That's not bad. That's not bad. We take those. It's about time for a QM. Wait a minute. Are you donating for a QM? It's about time that time though. It's, I feel like it's a little late for QM. How do you actually choose between murder and level one talents? Um, well, block is good if block is good. So if they have like Graymane, Thrall, auto attack Vala, you wanna like block is good into the obviously the heroes that block is good into. Perfect Storm is usually bad. Like, I picked this one for fun. So you pick this for fun, you pick this if you want to win against block, you know, auto attack heroes, and then you pick this otherwise. That's pretty much it. For me, at least. My clock is wrong. I don't, I don't think my clock is wrong. Man. It's the other active on 16 Meriden good. Other active. Imposing? It is good. This is actually really good. But the thing is, the usually you don't pick this on Muradin because uh, it, it there's like redundancy. There's overlap with his base kit. So this one reduces move speed by 20, attack speed by 50. But your base thunderclap, which also has the same range, both of them are right around you. Your base thunderclap reduces slows by 30 and reduces attack speed by 30. So slows don't overlap. So if you're doing Imposing Presence and you're doing Thunderclap on the same target, which you usually are, then the, the Imposing Presence slow is 20%, so it doesn't even work. Because this one's 30%, so it just overrides the 20. The greater slow takes effect. And then this one's attack speed is 30, the other one is 50. Those also don't stack, I think. I think the greater attack speed slow overrides as well. 